Okay, so this is going to be a quick overview of the um, of the app and what all these different things do. Now, I will cover this in detail in a separate video, otherwise it's going to make the getting started video a little bit too long. And to be honest with you, a lot of it you don't really need to know. It's just the... the hang on, I'm going to turn the volume down because it's just constantly telling me I'm in atty mode. Let's take that down. There we go. Can't hear it. Um, so we'll just uh, basically run around. So uh, the first one is uh, clicking on the DJI. That will actually actually take you back to the start. So we'll go back in and cancel that because we're not going to do it firmware update right now. Here we go. Right. So first one. This one is really just it's like a status bar. If you have any connection issues, etc. Like if it says disconnected and it's a grey bar, you've got connection issues between the tablet and your actual controller. But this is kind of, that's going to go, uh, that's going to turn green when you're ready to go. It will say, you know, ready to fly. Um, but under here, you've got a fair amount of information. So for example, the now I need a firmware update. It's going to tell, it's going to, it's going to tell me here. Um, uh, all the information so for example it's telling me that uh, i need to download the um the update uh here it's saying uh, calibration reset restart aircraft because i've just calibrated the compass but i've not restarted the craft so that's okay i know about all that uh, go back into there so on here it'll give you lots of statuses if there's any errors etc you've got all your stuff down here so normal 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 this is all pretty good stuff so go back out of there and uh, we go into the next one, which is a little quadcopter logo. This is the one you went into when you were going to do things like compass calibration. So first one we've got is home point settings. So you can select between whether you want the craft to be where, where it's taken off, which will set that automatically. But you can also have it following the transmitter. Now, the only thing to watch out for, unless it's changed, uh, the controller will update its position every couple of minutes. So if you're like on a boat scooting along, then it could end up fail safe and flying back to your location two minutes ago. So watch out for that. Next one down is multiple flight modes. What that enables you is things like sport mode and all the things like active track, etc. If you're a beginner, leave that off. Um, coming down here, you've got things like your return to home height. So it's preset at 30 meters. You might want to change that if you're flying around some big, large trees. Uh, beginner's mode, again, that was something you had the choice of setting when, um, when you first set it up. So if you are in beginner's mode, you can turn it off here. Uh, maximum flight altitude in the UK, legally lim we're legally limited to 120 meters. So that's already set. But if you want to break the law, you can actually undo that, but I don't recommend that. And also another one down here, you have got a um, maximum flight difference. Now that actually should be uh, 500 meters, uh, if I go back, uh, because um, in again in UK law, it's visual line of sight. Uh, so that should be set to, hmm, let's go back to 500. Yeah, I'll come back to that. Uh, so that should be 500 meters. You shouldn't fly out of sight. And then at the bottom one, we had the advanced settings. This is how, there's a lot of stuff in here. If you're not sure, as I say, I'll come back to this in a more detailed video. But you've got things like flight settings, gains, etc. The sensors which we were in. Um, remote control signal loss. You can tell it whether you want it just to auto land or return to home. Uh, smart return to home. What that means is it will always constantly monitor its distance from the craft to the controller. So further away you fly, the sooner it's going to fly home because it will always take into account how long it takes to fly, uh, fly home. Next one down, turn the LEDs off. Again, that's for night flying. Um, Watch a night flying one, it's a little bit grey whether it is legal or unlegal. Remember, I'm always going to refer to UK law because that's where we are. And I know in other countries it's completely different. Um, stop Bottom one, stop motor method. This is what stick command you will give to shut the motor down. Now, remembering all you have to do when you land is to hold the throttle or the up and down stick, the left hand one, all the way down for two seconds, which will shut the motors off. However, if you are, um, say, smashed it into a tree or something and the motors are burning out, you want to do a quick shutdown. So you can either have it pulling the sticks in or pulling them all the way out. So you've got that choice there as well. So we'll just go back the way we've done that so we can close that one down. So that's quick menu. Along the top, this is just like 
on-screen display flight information. So things like how many satellites you're locked into. Obviously, I'm indoors. Uh, the crash avoidance seems to be off at the moment. I think that's because we haven't got GPS. Um, the radio strength to the craft. The video transmission strength. Uh, this is your... Um, battery status so at the moment my battery's down to 58 percent below it the little dotted line you'll have there that will actually come up with your running time but it only comes up when you're flying because depending on how you're flying will depend on how much running time you have um, however if you click on that you've got your full battery status so that's a voltage in each cells these should all be fairly level um, if they get out you will get a cell warning there's no reason for them to get out but it can happen and then you'll have things like charge times there the capacity of the battery the power in the battery uh, down at the bottom here this is things like your warning so you can se select a um, first warning that's the bottom one when it will warn you but it won't act on it uh, and then the last one is critical warning so you can set that at what point where the craft will just take control and fly home and you'll have to cancel it to stop it doing that um, and then we've got some advanced settings here we've got time to discharge what that is is um, it's always a bad idea to leave your batteries fully charged for any length of time so you set this depending on when you want them to self discharge now when I say self discharge the battery won't get hot in your bag it takes like a couple of days just to bring it down a little bit so you can set that here you've also got a battery history here as well which will give you all the basically every time you switch it on and off you'll get a record so if you have had an error you'll know where it's come from do, 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 do. So take that out there moving along we have another tab here this is like a sort of master menu here um so for example things like your measurement units where you want meters per seconds miles per hour etc uh, enable hardware decoding that's a good idea it can cut reduce a lot of errors you have between your tablet and your controller uh not sure what the peak threshold is one Enable manual focus, what that is now, I'm going to come back to the focus one because that trips a lot of people up, um, but it will give you manual focus control. Uh, to be honest with you, a lot of these ones I haven't gotten into, and as I say, I'm going to come back to this in, in a bit deeper, so I'm not going to take too long to do this because it will make the video too long. Uh, show flight route, that's for the map, etc. Geo system, what that is, it'll warn you when you're close to airports, etc. Uh, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to touch on the ones I think that are important uh, moving along so then what we've got here we've got this is all your camera settings what settings you are in down here you've got things like auto takeoff auto land and then of course things like the